The collaboration between St. Lucia, Vanuatu, and the Comoros has been recognized by the United Nations as one of 10 flagship initiatives aimed at restoring the natural world. The 10 winning world restoration flagships were announced at the just-concluded 15th United Nations Biodiversity Conference in Montreal. The Small Island De Developing States Restoration Drive, the name of the initiative developed by the three countries, aims to scale up ridge-to-reef restoration of unique ecosystems and to promote the growth of marine economies in a bid to rebuild island communities financially devastated by the COVID-19 pandemic. Permanent Secretary in the Department of Sustainable Development, Anita Montoute, was the head of St. Lucia's delegation in Montreal. She highlighted the importance of the Restoration Drive initiative in achieving global climate change goals. Our marine resources and ecosystems such as coral reefs, seagrass and mangroves on which we heavily depend are fragile and can easily become extinct if we do not strategically manage our land-based and marine-related activities which can negatively impact them. Our seeds ecosystems are indeed extremely vulnerable and have become more susceptible to many pressures on our national resources. This situation puts seeds on the forefront of multiple environmental crises, just reducing our capacity to achieve the Rio Convention and the 2030 Agenda, whose deadline is now staring us in the face. Montoute says successfully implementing the flagship initiative will require the cooperation of a number of organizations. With support from UNDESA, FAO, and UNEP, we look forward to the transformation of the challenges we face in our conservation and restoration efforts to opportunities that will cement partnerships that will enhance our efforts and bring needed capacity building, financial, and technical support to our countries. This kind of support is needed to exemplify the decision around the goals and targets that are to be agreed upon in the coming days here at the COP15. The success of the flagship initiative will depend on the effective and strategic mobilization of resources to address coordinated ecosystem restoration. Montoot also outlined some of the goals of the project within her home country. In St. Lucia, the flagship will build on ongoing efforts to help local communities in the Southeast Coast area to identify alternative sustainable livelihood opportunities in addition to increase the value of existing activities such as fishing, through more sustainable practices. The flagship will increase opportunities for enhancing collaboration between government, the private sector, community-based and non-governmental organizations with vested interest in conservation efforts. Leveraging public-private partnership and the engagement of the youth are key for ecosystem management. And St. Lucia through the South East Coast project is already paving the way for such initiatives. In Vanuatu, the flagship will support the co-development of marine protected areas through collaboration with managers and local communities and seeks to ensure better integration of indigenous and local knowledge. In the Comoros, the initiative will seek to finance incubator programs to develop private sector partnerships with local businesses. As a World Restoration Flagship, the SIDS Restoration Drive is eligible to receive UN-backed promotion, advice, and or funding. Montoute highlighted finance as one of the critical components to the successful restoration and conservation of the marine environment, which will in turn boost the blue economy. Paramount to the measure that will result in effective restoration and conservation is the issue of finance. The smallness and competitive nature of our economy constrains us in prioritizing national allocation in our annual budget to sustain related conservation work. For St. Lucia, availability of and access to grant funding has been reduced because of the country's classification as an upper middle income country. Like other countries, COVID has impacted the economy and the debt situation has worsened, resulting in a tighter fiscal space. At this point, our medium-term development strategy is indicating that we need to find opportunities to seriously explore and implement strategic debt for nature swap to finance our environmental needs. Montoute says the blue economy, which focuses on the preservation and regeneration of the marine environment, is critical to the development of small island developing states. She added that in order to realize the full potential of the blue economy, the barriers to effective restoration and conservation efforts must be removed, including a lack of sound decision-making, inadequate financing, and an absence of cross-sectoral coordination.
Montoud also highlighted St. Lucia's participation in the World Bank's Unleashing the Blue Economy of the Caribbean project, one designed to strengthen the blue economy and enhance resilience of coastal infrastructure across participating countries.